I hope you guys can see me and I'm not completely zoomed in. It is messy hair, I don't care day. That's what it is. So today I'm going to do my October empties just because it is full to the top and I really don't have anything that's even close to being empty at this point. So we're just going to do it and find out if I like this shiz. Let's get into it. So I have my hamper thing here, which I actually need to take this cloth off and wash it. For things being empty, they sure do like to seep out the last little bit that's left in there and make such a mess. All right, let's start off with some shampoo reverse conditioner. This is the Kerastase and this is their first reverse care conditioner. I got this in an Influencer box and it came with the shampoo balm and then the conditioner. And you're supposed to use the conditioner first and then use the shampoo. I loved this. I absolutely loved it. But it's like super expensive. I think that this is like 20 plus dollars. And for a L'Oreal product, that's kind of expensive. But I mean, I understand the price because of how good it is and it works amazingly. But this is the conditioner. Even though it's reversed, it still doesn't matter. I go through conditioners quicker than the shampoos, without a doubt. And with this, the conditioner isn't like a normal conditioner. It's not as silky and smooth feeling, and it sinks right into your scalp and your hair. So I tend to use a lot more than you probably should. But I have really long hair, too, and it's really thick. So I use this up really quick because I still have like this much, yeah, about this much of the shampoo left. And I don't see the point of using the shampoo without the conditioner because they kind of go together and it won't work as good without it. And I'm not repurchasing a $20 conditioner. So I guess I'm probably going to have to toss that one as well. But if you have the money for this, do it. It's really good and it smells amazing. The next thing, I actually put in some household things in here and I didn't realize that I had kind of two of the same thing. Like, we don't need to be on repeat here. Jesus. But they are the Lysol wipes and these are their disinfecting wipes. Kills 99.9 .9 of bacteria and viruses. I go from these to the Clorox ones and I go back and forth between them. Um, I really do like the Lysol ones better than the Clorox ones just because they are thicker and they don't bunch up as much as the Clorox ones and they clean better. And I don't know why, but I just feel like everything that I use, because I have kids, I have young kids, so things tend to get kind of nasty in my household. Sicknesses are kind of on repeat in this household. So I, at least once a day... I go through everything that we touch with our hands and I use the wipes all over everything in my house. So I go through those weekly, like a three pack of them weekly. And I just feel like the Lysol wipes make everything cleaner. Like we get less sick, there's less mess, you know, there's just, it just feels cleaner with the Lysol wipes. So, and they're easier to clean with and I go through them not as quick as the Clorox ones. So... Definitely like the Lysol ones better than the Clorox, but I cannot live without disinfecting wipes. The next thing, oh, gain flings. I don't know if you guys remember, um, if you're new to my channel, you definitely don't, but I got another Influencer box because Influencer just brings me to life with some of their products. But they gave us a little baggy sample of some gain flings, and it was actually the Febreze gain, I believe. And I fell in love with them. And everybody's like, oh, you know, they're really, really great, but they're so expensive. Well, me and my husband did some research because we like them so much. They come with fabric softener, the detergent, and they come with um, stain fighters. So there's three products in one little flingy. Flingy. So we worked it out by price of what products we used. And it actually cost less to get the tub of the flings. So we were super excited and, of course, have used them ever since. I won't use any other kind of detergent since I've used these. I go through different scents, and um, the one that I'm using now is a totally different scent than this, but they're all so amazing, you guys. They keep your clothes smelling like this soap so strongly, and it's just such a clean scent. And, I mean, I have clothes in my closet that I washed two weeks ago, and they still smell like they just came out of the dryer, and I just love that. So I definitely use these. Will not go without them. I would cut a bitch for these. Seriously. Cut you. 
The next thing to go in with the laundry is the Gain Fireworks. And I believe this is actually what I'm using in the flings right now. I'm not positive, but I think that it is. I can't go without these either. And I love them so, so much. And if you check out my Amazon review profile, these are all over it. Because I'm just like, people, you must know the glory of these beautiful little beads. They do so much for your washing. Like, if you have hard water... And, or you just have, like, water that just messes up your your laundry, like, the smell of it. Like, they're clean, but they don't smell clean, you know, or you have crappy detergent that just does not leave any kind of scent on your clothes. This is just an in-wash booster. It's like a scent booster. And it just makes your clothes smell that much better. And I can't go without them. All right, on to some makeup wipes. I have, once again, and these are the last of them, so... For everybody who's like, Jesus, Nikki, again, every empties. Yes, I know. I just, I stocked up on these because they were, what, $2 for the, the big pack and the little pack together at my Ollie's. And I purchased every single one they had in stock. So I just finally ran out of my last pack of them. I like them, but I definitely wouldn't purchase them for any more than the $2 that I got them at Ollie's. They're, they're good, and I would recommend the Pond brand for sure, but they burn your eyes, and I don't like that, and they're just makeup wipes, you know, like, don't spend a shitload of money on makeup wipes unless it's doing the work for you. The next thing, and this is um, something that I bought for my trip to New York City, and it was just some Neutrogena makeup wipes, and it was just because I was in Target, and I just grabbed the first makeup wipe that I could find, and they came in a two-pack, so I'm still using the other one. These, I've had so many like off-brand makeup wipes that claim to be just like the Neutrogena. So it was kind of nice to be able to actually try the Neutrogena. Neutrogena? Yeah. And see if they really do stand up to that. And I have to say that I think the off-brand ones may be better. Like that's really weird to say, but I think it is. Like these are another one of those kind of wipes where once I take off my makeup, I have to like take my hand or a washcloth or I have to immediately go clean my face because the film that this leaves on my face is just too much. And it makes my skin feel like I have sensitive skin, which I really don't. So I didn't really like these too much. The scent is amazing. I love the scent. It does burn your eyes, but it, it works. It works really, really well to take off your makeup, but I don't like that film and I don't like my eyes burning. But, I mean, what can you do, you know? But definitely not worth the price at all, in my opinion. But they're all right. All right, some Sally Hansen products for every woman's mustache. All right, so the first one I got was the Cream Hair Remover. And it's a duo kit. It's got the cream and then some kind of, like, lotion that you use afterwards. This says it's fast and pain-free. It reduces the appearance of hair regrowth, da-da-da. This makes me break out so bad. Now, I used the Sally Hansen cream little duo that they had from, like, a year or two ago, and it lasted me about that long. And it was a completely different formula and box, and they don't have it anymore, so I'm guessing they replaced it with this one. But that one worked wonderful. You know, you didn't have to wax, so you weren't, like, gasping in pain. Um, and I really do feel like waxing can pull your skin a little bit too much and it can cause some, you know, irreversible damage for when you get older, you know, it might make you a little bit saggier in those areas and that may be untrue, but that's just how I feel. So I like to use creams over anything else. And this one, when I got this, I tried it out and I had the worst reaction I've ever had. I actually broke out all along my upper lip, like broke out and zits. And I'm just like, what the hell is going on? And then after, like a couple of days after, I if I put any of my skincare on, my upper lip would just start burning so bad. And I did it for the right amount of time. I didn't exceed the amount of time that you're supposed to leave it on. I actually take it off a little bit sooner than they say to. And it just, it, I had such a reaction to this. And I thought that maybe it was just because, you know, my face wasn't completely clean when I did it. So I tried it two more times. And the same thing every single time. And it just started getting worse and worse and worse. So I'm like, no, I don't like you anymore. And I'm moving on. And that's just what I did. I moved on to the wax strips. Now, I moved, I've, I've had these before. And I 
tried them once on my upper lip and was like, hell no. And because it hurt and I'm not a waxer. So, you know, you can just imagine how that went. But I did use them for the tops of my eyebrows because that's really where I get the most hair regrowth on my eyebrows is the top. And it's easy to just wax that off, you know, it's kind of a tight spot on my face that's not too sensitive, so it didn't hurt too bad, and I would just pluck underneath. And that's just how it was. So once I was done with these, and this was like a couple of years ago, these have been out forever, I never went back. And then I saw um, What Would Lizzie Do? I, a while ago, she put up a video about how she waxes her upper lip, and she used this. And... She kind of acted like the wax strips were really good. She liked them. You know, they were very, very good. So I was like, you know what? I think I'll try them out again. These suck so bad. They suck so bad. And when I actually hauled them, a lot of you told me, Nikki, those really suck. And I should have listened to you guys. And I didn't. And these this leaves so much wax left over on you that you have to pour the oil or some kind of oil on you to get the residue of the wax off. And my face just can't handle oils. And even if it's a face oil, it can't handle oils on my face or it will break out. So, and besides that point, I did everything I was supposed to do. I heated it up in my hand to the right amount. I left it on. You know, I firmly pressed. I did all of that shit. And, you know, I pulled my skin tight and I went with or against the hair or whatever you're supposed to do and it took off maybe 40% of the hair that I wanted it to and it just did not work it did not work at all the this has to be like one of the crappiest wax kits I've ever used and I think it might be good if you have like a few tiny hairs that grow really long but I really don't have that problem I have a lot of peach fuzz and Italianness inside of me that I'd like to get rid of, and this just sucks so bad. All right, moving on to another shampoo. We finally finished up the Pura Dior Argan Oil Shampoo. This is their um, scalp and dandruff treatment one. I reviewed this so long ago. I mean, so long ago, before everybody and their mother was making videos on this. Um, I think me and Dawn were, like, the first two people to make videos on them through Brand Backer, I believe, that we got these. And then all of a sudden, they just started blowing up, and then they started sponsoring people, and it kind of just seemed like it was downhill from there. But it is a pretty good brand, you know? But the more you use this at first, when you first use it, especially the conditioner, they're, like, lavender vanilla conditioner, when you first use that, it's amazing. And I still like the conditioner. It just doesn't do exactly what I like it to do, but the smell is out of this world. The shampoo really just kind of sucks. Um, it, after a while, it stops working. Like, you get a quarter of the way down through the bottle, and it just stops working, and then it starts to make your hair fear, 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 it definitely makes your hair fear life. Then it makes your hair feel more and more straw-like, and even my husband, who used this most out of any of us, even he was like, I'm really starting not to like this. He's like, I liked it at first, and now I don't like it. And I'm like, me too. That's why I stopped using it. The shampoo is crap. And, I mean, if you are like me and you dye your hair or you use heating tools, it has argan oil in it. You would think that it would heal that. But it doesn't. It makes it worse. And then it made my hair, like, straw-like and poof out. And I was just like, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. And then when I washed... Did you see that? All right. On to a hair wrap. Now, this is from Eva NYC. NYC. Some of my haters like to call me out that I kept calling it Eva Nye, and that's because the actual thing on it looks like an E instead of a C. So excuse moi, but Eva NYC hair wrap. It's a Skip the Spa Thermal Hair Wrap. It has 38 active plant oils and extracts, including argan oil, for an unparalleled moisture. And it says immediate improvement in damaged hair, seven days of shiny, glowing hair, and nine days of hydrated, hydrated, what is wrong with me? Hydrated hair. And it has a lot of claims. And I so I used it right away. And it does have a really slippery, kind of gooey inside to the hair wrap. And then you're supposed to take this sticker and like squeeze it shut and tape it to one side of your head. I had such a hard time even getting this on my hair and having my hair up. And you, you can't put your hair up in anything. It has to be loose and wet. And 
the hair wrap just it wasn't working I couldn't get it completely wrapped around all of my hair my hair kept falling down through it because it was way too big and I have a big head okay I have a pretty big head but anybody with a smaller head is this is just gonna have so much room in it for you that it pretty much just falls off no matter how how tight you put the tape so I didn't really like that about it and it just it didn't really do much for my hair it didn't do much at all and it might be because I couldn't get my hair in the one spot that it's in but it just didn't work very well for me. It was really hard to use and it was kind of too much of a pain in the ass. So this isn't something that I would repurchase. But once again, the Eva NYC, the smell of their products is like no other that I've ever used. I love the smell of their products so much and they are quite a, an affordable brand. So I do like to try to use their products and I'm like so interested in trying out all of the products they have to offer, but this was not something that I would be interested in purchasing again. Not that I purchased it before I got it for free, but you know what I mean. I went through another one of my degree deodorants. I won't um, talk too much about this. You guys know I like this. I usually get bored of stuff real quick, but I still love this. So it's pretty surprising, but yeah, degree's got it going on. We also went through Irish Spring. This is my husband's like go-to bar soap, and I love this. I love this. I love when the house, like it just takes over the house, the smell of it. And I mean, you can open just the box and it'll take over the whole bathroom without even being used. I love Irish Spring and it usually comes in like a six pack and it's only a couple of bucks. So this is always my man's go-to and I'm so glad because I love sniffing him after he showers with this. No joke, it's creepy and I don't care, but it's good. I went through, well, I'll still have a little bit in there, but it's really just gross looking so I'm not even going there. I mean, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but this is one nasty ass bottle of soap. But I went through the Bath and Body Works and this is their Wild Honeysuckle Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. This is the one thing, you know, I love the Bath and Body Works candles, but I'm not one of those people that has to run out and stock up and every time they have a sale, I buy 100 candles from them. And it's mostly only because I don't have the money, or I would, but I'm mostly addicted to the hand soaps that they have. Not so much the shower gels, but the hand soaps are amazing. The Wild Honeysuckle scent is like the best smell ever ever and I just cherish the soap so much and I love it because when you used it in the bathroom it filled up the whole bathroom with the scent of the soap and then your hands smelled like the soap for hours no matter what you did and I really like that and it's antibacterial and it was just it's just gets your hands really really clean and my kids loved using it they loved the smell of it it was just an all-around family favorite for us but once again they're super expensive six dollars and fifty cents for one thing of hand soap even though for me I personally think it is worth it it's probably the one thing from Bath and Body Works that is worth it but get them on sale if you do but if you've never tried their soap you must try their soap believe me you'll never go back I went through the Glade Cashmere Woods I got this last um, Christmas season at Target this is really really good but you'll get sick of the scent really quick especially if you use it in the bathroom to cover up your husband's shit smell You'll get so sick of it, you'll never want to smell it again. But if you've never done that and you don't plan on doing that and you just want to keep it as a room refreshener, it's so good. It's seriously so good. I went through one candle. One candle. And it was the one candle I didn't want to burn. It is from Bath & Body Works and it's called Topaz Waters. I didn't, it's just a little mini one from one of the last candles that my husband last bought me Bath & Body Works stuff from and the hand soap. This smells just like my husband. To a T, it smells like my husband's like aftershave and his deodorant and his cologne mixed together. Just like what he smells like on the daily. This is what my husband smells like. And I didn't want to burn it, but it was the only candle I had left and it was just a candle night. Sometimes I like to relax with a good book in my bed and just have a candle burning and have my headboard lamp on really low and... It just relaxes me. I do face masks. I do everything. I should probably do like a pamper night routine or something like that for you guys. But it was my last candle, so I had to burn it. But these little candles that last like maybe one day cost 10 bucks. You know, like I just, I love Bath and Body Works candles. I love the scents. I love it. But goddamn, like go easy on us, please. All right, a few more things and then we are done, I promise. 
a couple of mascaras that I they dried up on me and I did use them quite a bit before and I've just been holding on to them and been in denial that it's been way past the three month mark which I do a lot with mascaras but these are just deluxe size samples so the first one is the MAC zoom lash and I believe that I got this from Dawn in a friend mail I'm not positive but I think that I did and this was actually a really wet thick formula it did make my lashes like the volume of them just whoo like it really does work but it's nothing that special to warrant the price of the MAC mascara so I wouldn't purchase this off this sample but it was nice while I had it and then another thing that I got in a friend mail and I can't remember for the life of me who sent this to me um, if one of you did leave me a comment let me know but this is the ultra flesh and it's the gold standard mascara I just had a coughing fit and almost died and this is in blackout and I'd never heard of this before and it has almost like the benefit their real mascara kind of type wand it's really the rubbery spiky kind of wand this is a very dry formula and I didn't really see too much of a difference like it actually it made my eyelashes blacker but that was literally about it like it didn't do anything voluming thickening anything voluming did I just say voluming volumizing it didn't do anything like that to my eyelashes so I don't know exactly where this is from where you can get it I will look it up and put it in the description box if I figure it out I don't know the price but if this thing is like over five bucks no no way I went through the sample of the Dolce I think it's Dolce from Dolce and Gabbana um I, is it just called Dolce like I don't understand that I want to make sure I, yeah just called Dolce I believe or don't I have no idea you guys know what I'm talking about, most likely, but I went through this little sample that I got in probably an Ulta or Sephora haul um, order, and I really, really did like this, but I've noticed that the Dolce & Gabbana scents, because I have a couple, I think I have another one, um, yeah, I have light blue, I've noticed that even though I like the scent of them, they give me a headache, kind of like the Chloe perfume. Oh my God, it gives me such a bad headache, even though I love the smell. So I don't know if it's some kind of like sensitivity or just reaction to them or whatever's in them, but I really don't like them just because I get the worst migraines when I have them on. So, but they are a very, very nice scent. And the last thing I finally used up, I've had this for over a year, is the Burt Bees Acne Solution Spot Treatment. This is just like a... A clear yellow liquid and I like to take a q-tip and put it on any problem spots it really did help but it would take like a week for it to help and you had to consistently put it on for a week twice a day and this shit burned like no other I mean this burned so bad you guys it hurt it would make my eyes water if I had any blemishes near my eyes just the fumes from this would like make my eyes water and go blurry it was nuts and ever since I got a different kind of cream spot treatment that has no fumes it doesn't burn nothing I've just been like you know what you were nice but I'll see you later Burt's Bees bye bye so that is everything that I had in my empties I hope it wasn't too boring I always feel like my empties are boring because I hardly ever go through makeup I just don't. I have too much of it and I like to rotate it so it kind of is a vicious cycle of never ending makeup. So I don't really have too much makeup besides mascara because I have no choice in when I have to stop using it. So everything that I used or talked about because I didn't use it. But everything that I talked about in this video will be down below in the description box if you guys are interested in checking it out or ordering any of it. Um, leave me a comment and let me know if you've used any of this and what your opinions are on it. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.